Good evening, and thank you for joining me today at Tony Romaco Ministries. Jesus said, ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. He who seeks, finds. And to him who knocks, the door will be opened. This comes from Matthew 7, 7 through 8, the NIV version. When you speak to God, you're praying. When you are listening for God, you are meditating. Jesus is telling us here in Matthew that these are the guidelines that help us in building our relationship with God. First and foremost, we must seek the kingdom of God and all its righteousness. This is not the first time Jesus had spoken about this. When we ask the Father for things and, and help in Jesus' name, he will answer. We must act with truth and a sincere heart, along with asking for the highest good for all involved. God hears all our prayers, even the silent ones. He answers always, and his answers do come, not always when we want them, but when he feels the timing is best, because he knows the best time. And he always gives us the best. And he never settles for anything less than that. And it always has to do for our highest good. He's always working that way. Seeking. Jesus is talking about the truth, righteousness, and seeking God through him. Seeking the meaning of truth, wisdom, joy, content, and the way. Seek the right way to live, the love to act, to living accordingly to the way God wants us, the way Jesus wants us, and the way Jesus did as he was an example when he was here on earth. The knocking refers to knocking at the door of Jesus's heart, like he knocks at the door of our heart, we must also knock at the door of his heart until he answers. Jesus tells us in the last part of the verse, he guarantees us with his word, his truth, that as his child, when we go to the Father through him and trusting God and his truth, his honesty, his sincerity, and his heart, we will receive. Remember, Jesus told us to love God with all our heart, all our mind, all our soul. Jesus also tells us, as a reminder, both God and him want nothing but the best because they love us. God created us through Jesus for Jesus. We are each unique. We are his masterpiece, his temple. And he wants us to remind us that every day, to build that relationship with him, to be a part of him and alive in him as he's a part of us and alive in us. Now, just a note as we leave here today, that God loves us very much. And he loves us so much that he sent his only begotten son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to come down and die for us. He wants to help us, to help others to do the same. And breaking his heart to see his children turn away from him and abandon him. Yes, God does have feelings. He created feelings. And when we turn our back on him and disobey him, and that's the disobeying him and breaking his laws. That's also turning our back and abandoning him. It breaks his heart. And we can't do that. The best we have to do is offer him love. Offer others love. Show them the way. And keep praying for them until the answer comes. We're all his children, not just one day of the week, not just on Christmas or on Easter. 
every day. God loves us, wants us to pray to him, wants us to seek him 24-7, 365. That's what God wants. He helps others back as he helps us and wants us to help others back on the straight and narrow path. That's praying for each other. That's joining together in faith and in love. As Jesus walks the straight and narrow, he expects us to do the same. And we got to pray. And Jesus told us this. You keep praying until the situation changes. You keep praying until the Father answers the prayer when he feels it's best. And when you pray, before you ask for things, thank him. Thank him for your life. Thank him for who he is. Thank him for Jesus. Thank him for waking you up another day to help someone else who is in need. And in turn, you're helping yourself. Thank him for another day that you have the chance, because of his grace and mercy, that he answered your prayer, and you're going to help others see the light and help others back onto the straight and narrow path. We're all connected, whether we like it or not, or whether we know it or not. So one, it's like a domino effect. One action can create goodness or badness, positive or negative. And you all see that as you see what the world is today. But there is a lot of good out there. Don't give up hope. Keep spreading the good. Keep spreading the love, the word, his word. Keep preaching the gospel of Jesus. Because we're a team here. And that's praying. That's answering. And if he doesn't answer you right away, that doesn't mean he's not working on something for you. That doesn't mean he's not going to give it to you. The same thing with when, oh, well, I prayed and God said no. I felt him say no. Well, no, in God's terms, can mean no, you're not getting it because it's going to hurt you. And it's not for your highest good. Or no, you're not getting it at this particular time because I have something better for you to do to glorify me. Jesus is the prime example. He is the agent. Nobody can be a better example of the Father than Jesus himself. And Jesus, as an example, <coughs> wants us to follow him as an example. Will we fail? Yes. Will we fall? Yes. But his hand is right there to pick us up. He's not going to make us stumble continuously. He will hold us up. He will give us the strength if we keep asking. Asking is praying. So when you go to bed tonight and you say your prayers, not only say them for yourself, say them for others. S ask Jesus, because I do it all the time. I say, Lord, give me the strength the words, and the knowing wisdom to send healing to my enemies and to those who are negative towards me, to send my highest vibes to them. And Lord, I'm praying for their healing. Those words work for me, but whatever words work for you, Jesus knows and he understands. And you don't have to talk to him all the time because he hears your heart. He hears the silent prayers. He sees the tears. If you can't get on your knees, he understands that. A lot of people can't get on their knees. Us ministers, we're not always on our knees when we pray also. The idea is to pray. You can pray sitting down, laying down. You can pray while you're in the shower, while you're driving the car, while you're spending time with him just walking in nature, or sitting quietly in your private spot, your personal spot, your alone spot with God. The idea is to pray and pray for others because that's what's important. Jesus even said that. Always pray for others, not just those who persecute you, but for everyone. Don't just pray for yourself because that shows God and it shows Jesus that you're selfish. Pray for others. Pray for your family. Pray for your friends. Pray for the military. Pray for law enforcement. These people put their lives on the line for us. Pray that they don't lose their faith in humanity, their faith in God, their faith in Jesus. 
ask Jesus to keep the light on for them. And remember, when you're in your darkest times, and we all go there, and we've all been through them, we're all going to continue on occasion to go through those dark periods. Remember, the true light of the soul is always brightly lit. Darkness cannot extinguish it. All you have to do is look in and search for it. That's what Jesus said. Keep searching. Keep seeking. Keep knocking. You'll find it. He loves you so much. And I just want you all to know that. And he wants to be a part of you. So be a part of him. Let him be a part of you. Pray for the healing of the planet. Pray that they bring his father back into the schools, back into the homes, which is the most important thing. God has been taken out of a lot of homes and of a lot of hearts because of people's hardships. They lose their faith. Don't let Lucifer win. Although he has lost, and we already know he has lost, and he's known he's lost. What I'm saying is don't let him win the battle by winning a soul. Pray for those people. If you have a neighbor or know somebody that's in dire need, pray for them. Continuously pray that the light is continuously showing to them where they can see it. Because it is brightly lit. They're just so blind because of their circumstances, they lose it. And it's our job to find it and to help them find it. Just like Jesus helped us find it. Just like Jesus answers our prayers like the Father. Just like the Father answered Jesus' prayers. That's the main thing. The Father wants the communication going between us and him. Thank you for joining me today. God bless each and every one of you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. I'm Reverend Tony. Please continue to walk in the presence of God. You'll be glad you did. Keep praying. There's still love out there. There's more love growing. There's more peace out there. There's more peace growing. Get it out there. Show videos of it. Pay it forward. Make Jesus happy. We'll see you again next Sunday at 10 a.m. for our next another live sermon. And don't forget to join me Wednesday afternoons on YouTube as we go live again. Have a blessed and safe evening. Enjoy the rest of your weekend with your loved ones and with God. And have a safe weekend. And remember, God loves you, each and every one of you, because you're his special child, his precious child. We'll see you again next week. God bless each and every one of you.